All right, I'm gonna do the countdown and I'm gonna start it up. Three, two, one. Hello, it is, we are two episodes in and I still have not made a formal introduction, but um, we're back with the, um, the Spider Bite cast and um, I've had someone on here who I've wanted to talk to to a while, formerly known as Spidey Suck. Uh, we it's have Southeastern Spider. Southeastern of- Spider Man. I'm sorry, I miss your old name, dude. Oh. That shit was. So- oh, yeah, I, I do in a way miss my old name, but I now have bad associations with that name. Oh, that's fair. My bad. I didn't mean to bring it up with yeah. you. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Right. It's like, uh, it's just I don't like the name anymore. And that's fair. Yeah. It was pretty. Funny. All right. So, um. As you, I'm going to try to do this throughout the entirety of the episode because it's going to be a long episode, but you will be <laughs> able to... Noah is having some issues with his camera, but that's fine. I'm just going to put up stuff that he's done in place of his camera. Um, Noah has made several... You're working on, like, several fancy painted suits at the moment because... No, you finished um, your... You finished your ASM one, right? Yeah. And now you're working on the Far From Home one. I'm working on two at once. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm working on the Far From Home suit and the uh, uh, the beta suit that I'm currently wearing. I see. Well, that I was going to wear for the camera, but yeah. I can't anymore. Um, but yeah, I- I'm not the best at keeping to one project. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a little tough for me, too, sometimes, because sometimes like I'll find the sudden motivation to like do this big-ass project, and I'll just lose it and drop it off at the corner. Them. But, but I, I have unfinished drawings and stuff like that yeah. uh, when I started new ones. I just can't go back to them. It's I, I I wouldn't know what it's like over there doing the cosplay scene since I'm an American that eats hot dogs and cheeseburgers. But what is it like doing the things you do up in uh, up in um, England? Yeah, um, it's 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 a mixed bag. Right. It's a very mixed bag. Because um, re- recently I went to go see, uh, as some of you will know, and probably you will know, Kai, mm-hmm. uh, it, I was uh, with my mates, we run the Spidey Squad cast, oh. uh, and I'm going to go meet them again this Wednesday. Oh, shit. Yeah, and we, we were openly um, uh, just in cosplay, walking around town, uh, where Agent Primus lives, gotcha. and everyone seems so nice and accepting their cars, uh, like people in cars would wave us as we go past. Right. Uh, but then there's down here, like at my school, for example, I never hear the end of it. Mm-hmm. Um, people just, uh, well, not no need to get deep here, right? But right. people like to tear each other down in England. Oh yeah, no. Uh, so it, it isn't that fun, but it's pretty fun. Damn. At least at least you don't have school shootings up there in England. You got spider oh, That's pretty cool. Don't worry, we're not going to get into UK versus America fights over here. <laughs> Definitely not. I just, I'm going to have that one joke, and that's going to be that's gonna be it, unless it's really good. Then, the same goes <laughs> yeah. for you too. I'm not too, uh, <laughs> I'm not too defendant. But, um... <laughs> yeah. No. Nah, shit. I, I, I was actually, a, I've actually been a big fan of your work for a long time. And, like, you have a huge following on TikTok, and you... Didn't you get into a battle for your account with like TikTok one time because they took it down because you were too young? I did. I did. I just wouldn't stop emailing them for days <laughs> and end until. Shit. <laughs> I just wouldn't leave them alone. They were going like, okay, this kid's right. not gonna shut up until we do it. So just right. just let him have his account back. Don't even know why I got banned, but yeah, I guess it has gone. So I'm I'm such a fan. Like I I'm such a fan of your um, the first suit I ever saw you make was the first version of your second suit for your um for your spider sona and it's like that one with i know people just say it's the amazing spider in one suit like there's it's obviously different but you can tell there's a lot of inspiration i really enjoy that suit and that suit actually motivated me to start painting my own suits but i saw it at first and i was like it's so unrealistic that spider-man would have all these fancy ass fabrics because he's a pork and then i tried it and i'm like okay i can't ever do it like without it ever again <laughs> yeah it's like uh, it's like um you, you you puff paint one suit and then all the other ones that aren't just are just meh yeah <laughs> like i feel uh, like if i went back it wouldn't feel the same yeah it's it's why i feel it's why i feel so odd wearing um uh 
My, I felt, it's why I felt so odd wearing my Far From Home suit and my negative suit and all that. It's because mm -hmm. they're not painted. Yeah. Uh, but now that I'm painting my Far From Home suit, I'm starting to feel a little bit more at home. Yeah. If, if you know what I mean. It's a bit, a bit ironic because it's the Far From Home suit. But... Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. is... Do you... I Because I... It's so interesting seeing, like, other people spite... Like, I don't... Like, when I see someone out in the street with, like, a Zentai printed suit, I don't care. Because it can be replicated through, you know... Like, anybody else can print another version of that suit, and it's exactly the same, other than, like, measurements and shit. But when you see someone make a Spider-Man suit themselves, unique, it's wholly original, it's never been made before, it's amazing. And I love... I love looking at the process. Like, I'm always... I'm always the type of guy that loves to see how it's done. Do you do you sew your suits to get like do you use glue? I know you have your own face shell, and um, yeah. just walk me through it. Um, okay, I I do sew the suit together purely because I don't have enough trust in glue to keep the whole thing together. Right. Uh, so yeah, I sew it, mm -hmm. and then I kind of re maybe reinforce it with glue right. and puff paint. Gotcha. But that that's about it. Um, I don't sew suit patterns, none of that yet. I, I really want to get into that though. Uh, like, so far, it's just been cutting up more suits. Right. Like, you mean, like, when you get into, when you say get into suit patterning, you mean, like, designing a pattern and, like, shipping it off for someone to go sew it together and print it? Uh, no, that, it, no. Uh, you know what, you know what Easy Bug Boy does, where he, um, oh! gets... Oh! Yeah, I yeah, know what you mean. He gets colored fabric, cuts the shape out, and sews it all together to make a bodysuit. Uh, something like that. Oh, no, he, he actually ships them out to a... He, he asked the company to get... But I'm trying to get started on doing that now. Because, like, this, what I'm wearing, this is made completely from scratch. That's incredible. Yeah, it's it's difficult. I'm I'm even doing some... Like, I'm, I have a guy in my DMs asking me to make a beautiful Spider-Man design, but I don't want to show it on film. Because I could show it to you after, you know, because no one gets special yeah, yeah. privileges. But I'm not going <laughs> to, like, drop that suit uh, on uh, on the video here. But, like... I'm so invested in this project, but he wants me to make like a seven piece suit and like I can do shirts, whatever. I might like trip up on the gloves, but I don't know how I'm going to make le leggings. It's all so complicated. And like, I guess I got to figure it out. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a, gr it's a grueling process to, to say the least when it comes to that, because you, you got to cut out the shapes and they're not shapes that you right. typically see when it comes to like, this has got a wrap around a person. Yeah. So you, you see the shape and it's like a like a deformed rectangle and right. you're like, okay, how do I get this down to fit me? Right. And then do several more of those. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's really like the uh, the daunting part about it. Yeah. But uh, I've never done it, but mm. I feel like it gets easier with time. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm going to ask you one more question and then I want to get on to that um, project you've been working on with your character. So... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I noticed that your boots, like, aren't attached to the costume. Like, how do- do they stay in place by themselves, or do you have, like, zippers or- or hooks or, um... Okay. What's it called? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Uh, that's a good question. Um, uh, I've had two suits with separated boots. Mm -hmm. Uh, which was obviously the two versions of my, uh, uh Spider Sona, right. which is actually- the name is Mark1.n. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically what I did for the first one, the one that is my first original made suit, right. I had zippers on the side of the boots. Gotcha. I just relied on that to keep them up because I had no idea how to keep right. them up, but they still slipped down a little bit, but it, 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 it held in, play de in place decently. Right. Uh, and then for the second one, I did not use zippers. Right. Uh, I just used like the regular boot with a Kung Fu shoe inside. Mm -hmm. But what's keeping them up now is two snap buttons on the side of the leg and the back of the leg. Gotcha. So that's kind of keeping it in place where it should be. Right. Um, I don't know if I told yeah. you this because I got sidetracked earlier, but like, you the way your like the way your suit looked, the, even your first one that you like thought you wanted to or that you thought wasn't good enough, so you redid it. I, I, that's why you wanted to do it, right? Uh, there's there's a few reasons. One of them right. being it wasn't good enough. Right. Another one being like it, it really just wasn't comfortable. Right. It, it it was it was the worst thing ever. The worst part what? in one of the fingers. Uh huh. I, I couldn't get this out. I couldn't change this. In the fingers, there was this loose thread that kept digging under my fingernail. I hate and that. It was the worst thing. No. Nah. There was just. Oh 
Oh, it's a suit that was hard. There was hot glue on the bottom of the zipper, so it was mm. uncomfortable around my tailbone area. Yeah, got that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. it, it, it's a bit sloppy. Right. But other than that, it's, it's fine design-wise. Right. But I, I didn't tell... I don't know if I told you this earlier, but I got sidetracked. But, like, I think your suit looked so cool that, like, it was the main motivator to get me to paint a suit. Like, that... Here, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out. I don't... Like, I'll, I never shut the fuck up about this thing. <laughs> And I'm gonna <laughs> I can understand that. Like that was Hello, the main motivator for me to make this, cause I thought I thought your suit looked like the fucking coolest I, thing since sliced bread. I thought it was amazing. I saw, I, I saw that suit on my um, like from your account on my Instagram. I was like, holy crap, that is the cool there. Yeah. But it's just like that is so incredible. That looks so dope to me. Thank you, thank you. I'm I'm yeah. just upset that I didn't. Like, do it my, like, because this isn't my own design. I'd love to do one, but I'm not going to sidetrack myself. You are mm. working on a story, and... I've got a story, yeah. Uh, I've got a few rough ideas down, but I haven't got a main storyline. Right. So, uh, your character that you're writing about, is he Peter Parker? Uh, no. Right. Um, uh, my mate Jake, his character is Peter Parker, but oh. mine is um, a self-insert. Uh, I know that probably yeah. like it's like it's self inserts are a bit tricky because it can either sound like a really good idea or a really yeah. bad egotistical kind of idea. Yeah. Uh, but it, I think for a spider sonar, right. the whole notion of anyone can be Spider Man, a yeah. self insert can work. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my character is just me if I were Spider Man. I. I also think it's a good idea to do a self-insert character if you believe that you would be Spider-Man in a different way than Peter Parker. Because something I'm struggling with in my story is that um, my story, my I'm doing a very similar thing. I have two self-insert characters. It's me and my friend. Literally, the whole question of the story, the reason I started, is because what if me and my best friend were Spider-Man? Yeah. But the problem I constantly run into is. I act too much like Spider-Man, and I either have to drastically change how I am in the book and not act like how I actually am for it to be interesting, or I have to, like, I don't it's so complicated, because, like, writing a self-insert yeah. character when you're just the character you're basing it off of is just, it's kind of tough sometimes. Yeah, you, I think usually what you do is um, uh, find something that stands out about you right. and kind of roll with it. That is fair. Um, uh, I, f I have like a standout thing. I don't know. I haven't really put this to a uh, paper yet, mm -hmm. but I'm not that clever. Right. Uh, when it comes to like sciencey math kind of stuff, I'm not that clever. Right. I, I got. Okay. Uh, the grading system down here is very different to America, but I got a grade two in maths, which is terrible. Gotcha. <laughs> um. So my my entire thing behind I thought. What if designing web shoes was just like an, an instinctual thing? So I'm I'm in the middle of making this mechanical web shooter thing, making my own web fluid, mm -hmm. figuring out all the, the pressurization and stuff like that. Right. And I just have this moment where I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Right. I'm just winging it and it works. Mm -hmm. And that's terrifying. Um, but I, I think uh, just inserting a, uh, a standout thing about you is what can really make a character work. Right. And hopefully I'm right about that. So wait, so your, so your character just like magically stumbles across like making like some of the most hard to replicate tech in the Marvel Universe. I'm yeah, not like bashing um... Like do you play it off as a yeah, joke yeah. or like... Uh, I... Uh, I guess it can be half played off as a joke. Right. Like, the whole I have no idea what I'm doing thing mm -hmm. kind of plays off as a joke. But then the entire act of making it isn't really. Right. Um, because, you know, in the 90s animated series uh, where he's like, I think the spider carried on an instinctive knowledge of how to combine certain enzymes to make the strong sticky webbing. Oh. Uh, yeah. He, he um, his web fluid abilities making it was um, instinctual. Oh. So I thought, hey, what if um, the entire like thing of making a web shooter is instinctual? Because spiders will automatically know how to make their own web. I see. It's been a while so, since I watched the 90s one. Yeah. 
it's it's been a while as well. It's uh, it's old. I need to watch it again it, when I get this. Right. That kind of helps me with the context of it. Okay, so yeah, you make astonishing art for your like. I'm assuming how what's the format for this? Like, are you doing it in a comic book? Are you doing it in like a fan film? Or are you doing it in animation? Oh, I'll be honest, I do not know yet. <laughs> I have right. so many ideas floating around my head. Cause you're I tried to do a comic and I got bored really fast. That's fair. You're an amazing artist. and Like, I've been working on my book for almost, actually, almost about a year now. Like, it'll be a year soon. And I've only gotten out, like, I'm working on two issues and I've only gotten out two. It's long. It's long work. And my art isn't that yeah. detailed. And your art takes, like... And, and unless you can find a way to like pump down the 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 um your art is like really insanely detailed if you can pump Thanks. down some of that quality enough to like push out an issue in a one man team it might take you like it took me about like if I worked every day on it it'd probably take me about or like I segment time for myself so like if I were to you know set sit down and work on it for maybe about like three hours four hours a day i'd probably get it done in like two four months yeah but i i'd, I'd love to see where it goes because you've got like a very interesting set of villains for your um story there i don't remember what exactly they were but they were like a huge horde of like monsters and they had like a name oh uh, yeah um okay so they're basically a group known as the dead and mm -hmm. Uh, they're not monsters, right. but they are a group of corrupted people. Their leader is a monster. Um, it's it's almost it's almost like um, uh, Martin Lee and how he does the negative stuff. But the the okay. alpha, the leader, is this big um, this big skull uh, thing made out of wires and chains and uh, everything metal. You know, right. and it's got like a, this this big core kind of running it. Gotcha. Uh, I haven't figured out a name for that yet, uh, but there's um, it, it's it's the entire group itself is kind of complicated, but it can be uh, simpled down into like three groups. So one of them is just the alpha because he's right. the big controller. Then there's the the disciplined, mm -hmm. which are the coordinated attackers. Uh, so they they're the ones that go around actively hunting for people. Uh, to terrorize them and to, in a way, recruit them. Right. Um, yeah, by, in a way, corrupting them with this device in the back of a helmet. Mm -hmm. And then there's the rogue ones, which right. are not under control, and they don't listen to the leader, and they don't have contact with the leader, and they just go around killing willy-nilly. I see. And, like, committing random acts of crime and terror. So, hopefully those aren't words that will get demonetized. Right. I, I mean, um, I don't, I'm doing this for free. I get bored. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, it's, um, I'm still developing it, which is why it sounds a bit flip-floppy. Right. But it's, it's, it's in the works, and I'm hoping that when it's done, it will be something amazing. Right. I'm not going to push you too much for info, you know, because I... <laughs> um, That's all right. I don't want you to, like, put all that you have in your brain out there, because sometimes when you look back on it, it's just kind of like, what the fuck was I thinking? You know, I yes. was doing the same thing for my story, and I was, like, making it super grungy, and I was like, wait, wait, hold the fuck on. What? Like, and this is when I've, like, <laughs> yeah. changed so many things, and I'm, like, doing all this shit. But, um, yeah, no, it's, it's tough writing a story. I would recommend, like, watching, because, like, obviously, like, we're not story writers. Like, you know, nah. you gotta start somewhere. I think it's always good to, like, watch, like, critiques of like film and stuff to maybe like you know get more of a grasp of sort of you know analyzing plot without getting like a five million hour plus degree in english yeah because that's really the best you can do but um i have i have faith in this i have faith in what you're doing and i love your art and i love the stuff you make and it's great yeah ho hopefully this turns out to be something good um right i have uh maybe ambitions that might be too big for my boots at the moment that's true. but i'm hoping to maybe get there yeah because uh, i do, uh, this idea when i develop the story i do want to try uh get it made into something real uh to right. make my dream kind of you know real right and I, this this may be far-fetched but my my uh my mom and dad were just like 
hey, when you get this done, you should I sell this idea to Sony. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that sounds far fetched. Like, my parents do that. Sorry, I keep looking over that. That's where my monitor is. But, um, yeah. sorry, I, like, okay, my, like, parents just do that shit. Cause my dad, my dad's been trying to get, get me to, like, stream doing costume design on Twitch. And I'm like, dad, Twitch fucking sucks. Okay. It takes forever. Yeah, Twitch is butthole. And he's like, it, getting famous on any social media, like, takes, like, a huge amount of chance. And he's like, I can't believe you're not streaming this on social media. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. And I'm like, Dad, please, bro. I just want to sit in my room all day. But, nah, I... I mean, I guess that really changes when you have what people want. Because I I turn away from this channel for about, like, five seconds. And I get, like, you know, like, ten subscribers every month. And, and like, this channel... I left this shit the fuck alone. And, like, I'd sit away from this channel for a while. This shit... This channel is like, th like people want this way more than any other thing I'm currently working on, and it's nice. I love Spider Man, and if I could do Spider Man for a career, I would. But like, I, I like to keep a balance, and I'm and I, I got, would love to do Spider Man for a career. Yeah, I got sidetracked, but this is what I was gonna say. You gotta find a balance for it all. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, right now, like like the man himself, you gotta balance your lives. You know, I'm. I'm going to college, I'm trying to figure all that shit out, I'm also doing suit commissions, and on top of all of that, I'm writing a comic book. So I really have to weigh the decision about getting a job when my mom tells me to try to get a job. Because can I really yeah. fit that in without like cutting something else that I want to do out? It sucks man, life's hard. Like, I've, I've got my, um, uh, my GCSEs coming up, which are like my final exams for school. Uh, before I go to college, and it determines whether I can get into college or not. Right. So, um, to make this work, I have to give something up. Oh, I so, see. for this year, I don't know what it would be, but I think the most likely thing is to um, uh, not make any more suits for the what? rest of this academic year. No. Sadly. I mean, it might... N <laughs> the content, <laughs> it might, bro. It might not be true. It m yeah. I might not have to do that, but right. um, if need be, I am probably might... Um, maybe it won't be though. Maybe it won't be. That's fair. Maybe I'll just stop playing my PlayStation so off this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna get to the nitty gritty of it. I go on your story sometimes, okay? And I go, I go on, I go on your stories, and you like to shit on those Tom Holland haters, man. Now I do. I, I you like shit, on them. shit on them. You pull down your your New England drawers and you shit on them, and that's fair. But I want to know. I'm... Okay, I'm not a big fan of, like, Tom Holland, Spider-Man myself. I'm going to state my case, and I'm going to let you run. Yeah. All right? I love Tom Holland, Spider-Man sometimes, okay? I think... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say my... I'm going to say the good things about Tom Holland. I think he does a great job playing who Tom is told to play. Tom mm -hmm. is a great actor, and he does a great job. I love the stories around... Like, I love everything around the Spider-Man. I love the costume design most of the time. Most of the time, I love the costume design. I'm going to I'm gonna emphasize this. Most of the time. Okay? Not goddamn integrated suit. Yeah. Um, but I can't... Sometimes, sometimes I can't get down with the Peter. Okay? Like, every, every single Spider-Man on film has this one thing about him. Every single Peter Parker has this one tribute of the original character, right? The Toby. Yeah. Toby had the responsibility. That's what I like yeah, to say Toby had. Andrew's kind of complicated, but if I had to nail it down right now, I would say that Andrew had the edge of the character, the, the early yeah, Deco like books and the ultimate Peter had. The angst, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jake Johnson, the animated Spider-Man in Into the Spider-Verse, who is my favorite. He is my Ooh. favorite Peter Love Parker. Him. He had... Love him. He had, like, that sort of depression and hopelessness that Spider-Man yeah. constantly had to overcome. But when I look at Tom Holland, I just sort of see him as, like, just a boy who lives in a world with a bunch of other Avengers. And yes, that's what Spider-Man had, but, like, that's not, like, a core foundation of the character, you know what I mean? He's a boy who yeah. lives in a world full of superheroes. But that's just what's around him. I Like, I... I wish he had some of those three other things that the rest of them have, but I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you state your case, 
because I feel like <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't put yourself up to the podium and say if you say Iron Boy Junior, fuck you, okay? Because I know you've been saying that, all right, on your story. But, yeah. Um, I've, I've said a few things that I'm, I may look back and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. maybe I was a bit blinded by yeah. um, the fact that I do quite like this iteration of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that I don't like about him, don't get me wrong. Right. And I completely agree that he's being treated like just this kid in the world of superheroes. Mm -hmm. I get that completely. Right. But one thing I do see in him is I do see like the youthful spirit. Right. So he um, maybe he's a bit too kiddish. Mm -hmm. He's a bit too kiddish, but he's got like, he's got the charm. Mm -hmm. He's he's got the charm. He's got the excitability. He's got the uh, the jitteriness. Right. And he and he's got the um. Uh, well, occasionally when he's um when he needs to, and when he feels he needs to, he has the uh. Uh, what's it called? Oh, I want to say urge, but it's not urge at all. It's um. It, oh yeah, he has a determination to help the people who need help. Right. I think we saw that we saw that a lot in Far From Home, like with the uh. The Hydra Man scene, if you want to call it that, um, when even though he doesn't have his costume and he has no real way to hide his identity, he's still swinging around helping the people who need help and keeping the buildings together. And that's what that's one part I like is that he does. It's not super blown up, which it should be, like the Romy trilogy, but the innate responsibility is still there somewhat, mm -hmm. which I'm glad about. And I think that they'll nail that down in No Way right. Home. I hope. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there are some things I don't like about him. Like I don't like how much, t how many ties he has to Iron Man. Um, uh, but uh, but I, I still will kind of defend my Iron Boy Junior um, mm -hmm. statement because he kind of isn't isn't. Right. I'd say I can see why people think he is, but mm -hmm. I don't think he is going in that direction. Right. Because. Uh, uh, Homecoming and Far From Home, even though they kind of backtrack in Far From Home uh, because of Endgame, uh, Homecoming had this whole theme of him trying to step out of the shadow of Tony Stark, mm -hmm. and he was actively trying to do that by disobeying him and mm -hmm. stuff like that, um, which I think they should have still carried on into Far From Home properly, full swing from Homecoming. Right. But I guess maybe because he just got dusted and came back to this big battle where he had an iron suit to protect him. Right. I think that maybe that could be why he's backtracked. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't really like it. Yeah. I just think um, that... I think I think the main thing that people gravitate towards when they call him Ironborn Jr. is that in this first movie, right, he keeps the Stark Tech suit fine. I think that it maybe it sort of undermines Peter's... Mo like, Peter's, like, final thought is like I'm gonna stay here and protect the little guy he gets the Stark suit back anyway fine yeah even though I think that like sort of dampens what Peter's trying to learn in the first one fine but I think him making his suit with Stark tech is um is kind of what people get upset about and I saw this really good video by full fat videos Sam yeah. Sam Wilson He's the descendant of Captain America, and he's going to fill the shoes of Captain America because the the MCU doesn't have Captain America right now. And Iron Man, the descendant of Iron Man, is Spider-Man, which I think is dumb because Spider-Man is like an A-tier character, if not the most popular Marvel character of all time. And I think he's one of the most popular characters of all time. If like, not, like, the actually the most. Yeah, like next to Spongebob, right. yeah. And you pick, like, you pick this... I'm, I know I'm gonna piss off, like, Falcon fans, but, like, I don't think people come <laughs> here to see the Falcon. But you pick, like, a C-tier character in terms of popularity, and then you turn him into Captain America. But then you pick the most popular character in Marvel, and then you turn him into, like, you heavily affiliate him I, with Iron Man. It's kind of weird. Because I think Spider-Man yeah, being the most popular proves that he doesn't need Iron Man to exist and I feel like yes they tied him in there so that Peter would have a have a way into the world but still yeah uh, I do I do 100% agree on that like why the hell would you make Spider-Man right. a C-tier character in this universe right um, but you know I, I can defend I had this on my mind for a second uh, about him making his um, Bosco suit with um, 
Stark Tech. His boss. When. But yeah, it was known as the Boss Curse suit for a while. I don't call it that. I call what? it the Far From Home. I don't. Know. But I call it the. Yeah. Um, I can defend that being made with Stark Tech because right. realistically talking, we can't exactly make and sit and stitch together a uh, a decent Spider-Man costume that would keep him somewhat protected. That's fair. Um, for a fight, for like a battle against drones. Yeah, and he, he does quit, gotta look so cool. Can... He just gotta look cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in in the space of like an hour, maybe yeah, less, because he, he will be. He only started cooking his suit when like they just took off. Yeah. Um, and to, like based on how quickly they reached um, where they needed to be in London, it didn't take that long to get there because it's like a it's it's a Stark Tech uh, plane. That so it's true. not going to take long, uh, and, and and also where they were, they were in um, right. uh, the Netherlands, which right. isn't that far from the UK. Mm -hmm. um, sorry if I'm saying arm a lot, by the way. No, uh, that's fair. I'm just, I, I have crutch words too. Yeah, but, but yeah, um, it's even as though it's like not just to look cool. He had to. He was missing his web shooters as well. That is true. He was miss. He was. Um, he also had to create like a durable uh, suit, so he could, uh, and he also probably wouldn't have had the materials to make a costume on that plane. Yeah. Uh, so I, th I think I can somewhat defend that, but I think they should tone it down with the tech top suits now. That is true. Um, but okay. I think maybe they will. And they'll kind of revert back to classic Spider-Man by like uh, no. the, take the integrated suit, for, to take the integrated suit for example. I, th yeah. I feel like that's a combination of the Iron Spider and the Far From Home suit. Maybe he's right. salvaging the stuff that he has yeah. to make something that's worth it, and that will get yeah. him through what he needs to get through. Right. Um, so I think that maybe that it will radiate a little bit more classic right. Spider-Man. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, I'll eat my words if, if it doesn't happen though. Yeah. I okay, so I have one more question before we talk about the leaks. Oh um, yeah. Did you watch the leaks before we get into that? I did. Yes, okay. I've seen. No, because I watched them shit. I'm sorry. Like, do not, do not put a fucking fat piece of steak in front of a starving animal. Okay. Yeah, That's don't. my thing. All right. How, Let's get eaten alive. Yeah, like. Oh, we're gonna take it down. Sorry, I already have that shit saved on my fucking hard drive, Sony. You've had me sitting here five months, but. Just have the yeah. clip of um, Doc Ock saying, Hello, Peter. Hello, I just Peter. have that saved to my yeah. phone. <laughs> you, okay. Oh. Have you lived, have you ever traveled to America? I have never traveled to America, right. sadly. Is it weird? Because, like, Spider Man's always been confined in New York, right? And I went to New York once. It was magical. And that's only because, like, the character that I've loved my entire life, like, that was his home. And I thought that was amazing. Is it mm. is it weird that Spider Man almost like sort of is it weird seeing like environments from a Spider Man movie like being like in a place that you could probably like go to? It's it's um it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's it affects, um like absolutely mental. I love the idea that the final battle of Fox was in um London, right. which I'm literally like an hour's drive away from. Oh my god! So it, it it was on London Tower Bridge, and the, the literally the train I'm getting up to um uh when Agent Primus lives mm. this Wednesday is um I pass right by Tower Bridge, right. and every time I see him, that's where I watch Far From Home, <laughs> and I, th I just think that's so cool because right. I could literally like days of filming drive mm. up there and be like, oh look, it's Spider Man, right. <laughs> Um, I can't drive. That's fair. <laughs> I'm 15. Yeah. Um, but I feel like if I could drive, it'd be like, hey, I can literally just drive up here one day and be like, hey, Spider-Man. Hey. I know that guy. He swung from there and he did the thing and he fought that guy who wore the fishbowl on his head. I don't know why I did like a Boston accent. Anyway. Okay, so these fucking leaks. All right, I don't have a time code, viewers, that you can skip to. Just turn this shit off, okay? Because we're probably going to be talking about this for the rest of the cast. Unless I tell you to come back. But, <laughs> yeah. um... I'll... You know what? Just mute the video and I'll, like, make loud, obnoxious motions at the camera so you know to come back. <laughs> Just, right. like, start making aggressive monkey noises so loud yeah. that even if it's on mute, you'll yeah. still hear it. I'll break your YouTube. <laughs>
turn that yes. shit on. So, um, the leaks just come out. They just keep pouring out. Cause yesterday it was the yeah. trailer. It was the low. It was the. It was a recording of a recording on a phone on somebody's Instagram story. It was the whole trailer in classic leak quality, which is 144p and even lower. I, I, I still could understand some of what was going on, thankfully. Right. I feel... I got hello, Peter. Right. I thought it was a... I'm pretty sure it was a VFX version. Like, that was an early cut of the trailer. Yeah, there, uh, there was a thing... I, I think it was a tweet. Right. And they said, because of the unfinished CGI, this is probably, like, footage from a month ago. Right. Um. So, mm, I'm thinking that's true, unless for some reason they released the trailer... In um in all of its unfinished VFX glory, I feel um, I feel like they wouldn't have it all unfinished. Like we're we're pretty close uh, to release. It's for me over here. Right. From what Daniel RPK says, and you'll probably know Daniel RPK is um very like a really reliable source. Like he's been scarily accurate with a lot of predictions. Um, for like Venom and stuff, and then for this, mm-hmm. uh, and th- and he he says. Like it's meant to come out six thirty p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, either East Coast time or Pacific Coast time. Right. Um, and which means in the UK it will be out about two thirty a.m. Which is my, why me, Jed Cos UK, and Agent Primus are going to be staying up till two a.m. tonight. Damn. Seeing if it comes oh out. Oh my <laughs> god. Not because when I, I, my girlfriend hasn't been. She's always been a Marvel fan, but like I've fucking I've threw her in the water with the Spider Man shit and now she's into it. So I, know, I saw fucking, you guys meet up recently. Yeah. That was adorable. Oh, thank you, bro. It's possible <laughs> that you can get a girlfriend that fucking likes Spider Man. That's unbelievable. It is. I all the people out yeah, there. Yeah, bro. All the people that took the piss out of me. All you yeah. TikTok commenters saying I'm a virgin and that I'll never <laughs> fucking see the light of day. Fuck you. You just got fucking owned, and now I'm gonna get yes. broken up with because I said that. But I'm just kidding. My girlfriend's really <laughs> nice. Um, so, yeah. uh, have you seen the Toby Andrew leak? The one that leaked? I have. It's it's real. It's because fu- people did like the the. Fo- I didn't know that was a thing. Like I didn't know this Photoshop testing shit was a thing until these leaks came out. I, I did, I had that loosely in the back of my mind, and then they've done it, and I was right. like, oh shit, oh my god, I'm not <laughs> and then I'm... I saw the close-up of Andrew, Right. Oh, and I actually cried, oh my like, god, he, he's, he's my favourite Spider-Man ever, right. and, he, and he has been for like, since I got interested in Spider-Man, he's been my right. favourite, and to see him back, it's just, it's, um, it's not overwhelming, but it's like, right, it's, it's, well, it's, it's surreal, <laughs> Not, I, I, oh my god, like, I'm, this is how I know, like, the Sony's been starving us, like, not just me, I know it's not just me, but, like, I feel like, when, when I've discovered that there's a new way to, like, see if photoshopped images are real, because a trailer hasn't come out, that's how you know something's fucking wrong. Yeah. But, this shit is crazy, like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit, okay, and I know I'm gonna get goofed on. When I see these people that I've said these things to, I was that guy that was like, "There's no fucking way that Tom and Toby or Tom or Toby and Andrew are gonna be in the next one. There's no fucking way. I'm gonna be that guy. What the fuck? I don't think that's a thing. I'm gonna get shit on. I'm gonna get fucking shit on. And I'm almost, I'm almost excited about it now. And I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm probably gonna like be upset that like, oh, Tom Holland doesn't need that right now. And even if it's bad, even if it's bad, okay, it's still I'm Andrew. still going to be hooting and hollering in the theaters because, like, there's, like, three different periods of my life in one movie, and it's so weird. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'll admit I was one of those deniers as well. Yeah. I was always a multiverse denier. I wasn't a multiverse denier, but right. I was, like, I wasn't very open to the idea of it being a multiverse movie. Right. But now that I've seen all this, I'm like, okay, I can roll with this. Yeah. I I, de- I denied Toby and Andrew. I denied Willem Dafoe. I denied Alfred right. Molina. I only accepted Jamie Foxx right. as Electro because so I could one hundred percent believe that happening mm-hmm. for some reason. Uh, but now that I've seen it in action and I've seen the trailer, the pumpkin bomb, and then the Hello Peter part, and y- some people also may not have noticed this, but you can see Electro's powers in the trailer. You can oh. see um, somebody getting shot by Electro. 
What but the he's fuck, not blue. Max? Yeah, he's he's not blue. Thank God. He's not blue. <sighs> yeah, and uh, I knew it's like okay. I'm, I look like a total clown right now, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna address it. I'm not just gonna not address it. <laughs> you go on Twitter <laughs> and release an apology. Yeah, I need a. I need to. I uh, expect a half heart, a half hearted <laughs> apology in the next like, three business days. Where I will justify <laughs> that I was right. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll start it with a deep sigh and. Uh, yeah, the deep sigh. Apology. Bro, you watch Pyrocynical? Sorry. Do you watch Pyrocynical? Yeah, I watched. That's what it was. I fucking yeah. I immediately, whenever I hear the deep sigh, I was like, "Bro, fuck <laughs> yeah, dude." Anyway, I'm not gonna get on yeah, the horn about Petscop too. This is not, not the right oh, place. We can't. But we, yeah. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Get Pyrocynical on yeah. here, begging for Petscop too. Yeah, dude, fucking, I'll get Pyrocynical on this cast, and for one day, it will be the Petscop bite cast. But Come on, I'll do it. I'll tr dude, that'd be awesome. But, um... I hope they give Electro, like... I know Electro's costume is, like, dumb and goofy, but, like, I hope he gets some of it. Because I'm so fucking tired of these fucking Marvel movies not giving the characters, like, their costumes. Like, you see it all the time in fucking... Especially in the Netflix shows... I it, that shit pisses me off because like there's like people are like oh it's so dumb why would they do that so unrealistic but like also people having superpowers is incredibly unrealistic yeah but I guess it's kind of yeah, different for some reason Spider-Man seems oddly realistic even though it's yeah. completely realistic yeah like, and I mean I guess that's because like Spider-Man's costume is more heavily tied to his character than um, yeah most um, other... it, it's one of those characters that are like okay I get this is completely impossible, but I could totally see that happening. Right. You know? It's like Iron Man as well. Yeah. I could totally see that happening. Because it's like, Spider-Man's kind of like Batman in a way where, like, he needs to have his costume to be the character. And, like, you can't yeah. really separate the two. Because Batman isn't going to be Batman without his costume. He's just Bruce Wayne. Right, he's just Bruce fucking Wayne. And Bruce Wayne's not going to go out in the street and say, hey, it's dumb to wear a costume. <laughs> yeah, it's like shit. he's gonna put on the latex. Not the first issue is just not even called Batman; it's just called The yeah. Incredible Bruce Wayne. The Incredible, The Adventures of Bruce Wayne, Detective <laughs> Comics, Bruce, so Wayne. Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson. Oh um, man, yeah. did you did you like Daredevil? Did you watch I Daredevil? Haven't seen, you haven't seen Daredevil. I haven't seen it, but I'm planning on watching it. I just need to find uh, right. the appropriate time. I was so I'm not Netflix, watch it. yeah. I was so disappointed that. I'm sorry, man. Like, as much as I, I, as much as I like that Peter Parker gets his identity back and that they one more day the shit out of him, I would have liked Matt Murdock being in there somewhere. Cause like, I love Daredevil. Okay, Netflix sold me on the character. And now Daredevil's like my second favorite superhero. I love him. Some reason feel like he is there. So like, oddly. Yeah, he I, might I be. Like, like honestly, all I can see him doing is in the beginning part, being like. Hey Peter, um, don't talk to my client. Get the fuck out of here, random man that yells at my client for. Hey Peter, some take guy. my card. Hey, uh, take my card. I can't read what it says, and I don't know if it's the right one, but I need you to take it. But I'm lying because I have superpowers and I know what it says. But take. Wait a minute. If he's blind, how did I know that I'm Spider? How did he? Hand <laughs> how did he know? I'm sorry. No, man. Mr. Park. <laughs> I, dude, I really fucking want Daredevil, dude. Cause like, D Daredevil yeah. was so good. It's the cream of the crop of the Netflix shows. It's the best one. And then like, Daredevil gets thrown away because of some licensing deal or some bullshit. And like, it happens all the time. It even happened to Spider Man. So, several times. But like, it's a publicity stunt. Yeah. Oddly. Like you know, with like the in 2019 when they split up, like Sony and Marvel split up and they took them out of the MCU. Right. I feel like that was a a, a big publicity yeah. stunt for, for something. I remember you theorized that like whenever MCU, I remember this is this, I don't know if this is a theory you still have, but I remember you talked about it. You said that you think that, um, whenever a Marvel actor leaks something for the next movie on accident. You think they do it on purpose. And I see some merit to that theory. Like that one time that Tom Holland was unboxing something on stream. And he accidentally like... I, there's no way he did that shit on accident. 
Yeah, it's like it's like it, for something as big as Endgame, right? right. It, it, he was that Endgame that he leaked, was it, or is it Infinity War? I feel like it was Infinity War because I don't even think that I remember looking around when and when Endgame was coming out and being like, "Wow, I'm not seeing anything about like Tom being in this movie," or like there was a very yeah. lack. There was a lack of information on it. There's a significant lack of Spider-Man yeah. in this movie. Where's my boy? <laughs> Where is he? Where's my son? Uh, but, but yeah, I, th I think for, for something as big as those mo as those movies, especially like, uh, I feel like the wait till you watch this movie, everybody dies from Mark Ruffalo. I feel like I feel like that was a genuine accident. Right. But stuff like Tom Holland leaking the poster for whichever movie he did, mm -hmm. I feel like that was totally on purpose because right. but leaking something as big as that is uh is punishable by legal action Damn. i think so he'd either be sued into oblivion or he'd be kicked out of his role yeah um, uh but uh when, when mark ruffalo did it when he said oh everybody dies i feel like he wouldn't have gotten in trouble for that yeah much. that did not feel like on purpose yeah, it's um. I feel like he wouldn't have gotten in trouble much because even when you say everybody dies, it doesn't say who dies. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you don't know who dies. It's just a lot of people that do. Yeah. Um. So, I I feel like that's less of a worse offense than um, Tom leaking the uh, the poster. Right. Which definitely, I feel like wasn't an accident. Yeah. I but, mean, uh, but, he's, he's kind of infamous for it. Yeah. I feel like the moment you become infamous in Marvel, like, they start saying, hey, can you do this on purpose? <laughs> you fucked like, up one you... time, but now we want you to do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, be our token boy. Um, Tom but Holland yeah, there's that, obviously man. some, like, slip-ups that Tom Holland did. Like, the story of him saying that he, um, th the movie was delayed, so he went into cinema and said, I'm not dead! <laughs> I feel like that was an accident. Wait, when the fuck did that happen? Uh, I, I don't know when he told the story, but he told that story, and um, that was a thing. Right. Yeah. I see. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a few things that were, there are a few things that I feel like they weren't. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like, for publicity and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. I already, <laughs> I already know what you, what, I already know like a little bit of what your answer to this question is going to be, because... What what are some of your favorite Spider-Man suits? Oh, oh. cuz like I, I feel like you're a big fan of the red and blue and like of course like the black suit. I know you really oh, like yeah. the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man suit and that's that's that suit is sex. It's my favorite. Yeah. But what is It's like okay. Um my, fa my obviously my favorite suit is Andrew Garfield's first costume. Mm -hmm. Uh for some reason even though it doesn't scream plastic Spider-Man it just feels like Yeah. It feels so beautiful to me. Yeah, it's new. Um, it's different. It's highly detailed. Yeah, and people rag on the eyes a lot. I think it's cool. I think the realism of it adds to it because, realistically, if you're gonna throw together a suit really fast, like you, you're not gonna go out of your way to get polarized white mesh lenses. Mm -hmm. I feel like what if you're just gonna pop them out of sunglasses, like Mark Webb said. So yeah, I think that that's what adds to it, and also the the shoes on the feet. Like, god damn, there's some good A6 tennis shoes. <laughs> I I always thought it was weird that, like, Spider-Man was able to stick. Because I don't... Because, <laughs> like, there's no way his powers aren't, like, magnetism. Because they are. They, yeah. in, the, in the comics, they're rooted in magnetism. But in the in the first movie, they're, like, sticky tendril fingers. And... Now everybody thinks they're sticky tendril fingers because that's not really something you think of when you think of Spider-Man. You just think, hey, he sticks to walls. And when you provide a little explanation for it, that's what everybody thinks. Because that's what they did with the web shooters. But, um, when, uh, because there's no way that fucking Andrew doesn't have, like, the magnetized version of the stick'em powers. Yeah, because you can tell that fabric is, like, super thick. Yeah, that shit is yeah. thick as fuck. But it's amazing. Yeah, that's um, that's why um, I decided that my Spider-Man, like, you, you, you remember that shot in PS4, the PS4 game, right. where he's standing on the side of this pylon, mm -hmm. uh, texting MJ, and he's just standing there as if he were on the floor. Right. Yeah. Uh, mine can't do that. I see. Mine. He he has to like, he has to be holding on with his hands, like whether right. it's one or two, and 
Yeah. That's like insane core strength right there. That's fucking. That nasty. is. I, I think I think it's um, uh, pretty crazy. I feel like I, I feel like I accidentally might have made my Spider-Man a bit too overpowered, so I might have to tone it down a bit. But on top of having like regular super strength, I also have like a a Miles esque right. like, energy. I heard about this. Mission. Yeah, so I um, it's not electricity, but I can charge up like energy, right? Um, and release it. It's kind of like the concussive uh, you know, blast when... from Amazing Spider-Man Two. Maybe, like but the game. Um, uh, I no, I, I don't think so. I think you know when um, mm -hmm. uh, how Black Panther got his suit designed by Shuri, and oh. it was like every bullet you take is like an okay. ounce more of energy built right. up, and then you have, and then you release it, right? Yeah, um, it's it's sim it's similar to that, but I can channel where it goes through. I see. That's kind of a yeah. weird power to throw in, but like also it's kind of fucking hard to make new powers for Spider-Man because they sort of. It is. All That's what it sounds so similar to Miles. It is kind of hard to do shit like that. So I mean, sometimes you got to throw in a random ass power like that. Like, why the fuck is Miguel O'Hara able to like slow his perception of time? Like, what? Yeah. Happened? You know, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's um. Yeah, that's why um my basically I've got bitten on the finger. Uh, my my spider bit me on the finger because I uh oh. it was basically it was like a, a genet it was accidentally genetically engineered by uh recreational like narcotics and that mm -hmm. like people uh, in this place in like an abandoned lab at the at the school that I go to. Right. Yeah, I'll explain this in detail at some point another time, mm -hmm. but um. There, it accidentally manages to make its way into some narcotics that were experimental. Oh, like drugs? It, it, yeah, it, oh, it altered. It's um, it altered it, uh -huh. and then it kind of makes its way around the school. It it goes in between people. It goes on people's shoulders. Right. Until it makes its way to my desk. Right. Like while I'm drawing in a separate class, and then I see it spazzing out the desk, and it goes still. And being me, I would do this. I just see it curled up. And I I kind of poke it. And then it latches onto my finger and bites. And right. when it bites, um, there's like this um, this really small shock wave that makes me go. Pfft. Um, so it's not like a regular right. bite; it's like kind of a bite and then. Pfft. Gotcha. Um, so that, that's that would explain uh, the energy and yeah. why that would be a thing. Does does this does this lab like regularly generate? Because like you could have like a Nan Randy Cunningham miraculous ladybug type thing where like this lab is constantly generating shit that creates villains and the whole thing the whole show is revolved around going to that source while dealing with these small because that's kind of what i'm doing yeah you can um, do something like that my, mine is a little bit underdeveloped right now but like the right. general consensus is like the villain and the uh the spider are completely two different sources right, right? Uh, the dead are a, an existing prominent issue already oh, before yeah, I'm even right. Spider-Man. Yeah, um, and I think that th well, the spider happened uh, just because there's this uh, abandoned lab, but like a little bit separate from my school I go to. Gotcha. This isn't a real thing, by the way. I, mm -hmm. This is a completely made up abandoned lab, uh, and these three or four people frequently use it to create drugs mm -hmm. uh, because it's the UK. That's going to happen over here, and. Um, they they make this stuff by accident. Mm -hmm. One of them pours a little too much by mistake, and it spills all over the desk, and the spider gets into it. Gotcha. Yeah. Does does Spider Man exist? Like in no. The, like so the character doesn't exist. No. Gotcha. Uh, not yet. Um, uh, it's like it's like in uh, the Walking Dead how they live in a universe where zombies don't exist as pop culture thing. Oh wait, uh, what? So Spider Man doesn't exist. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, in the, in the uh, the Walking Dead comics and the TV show, they live in a world where zombies don't exist in pop culture. What? Uh, so the like any sort of zombie media just didn't exist before that. That I feel like that is something I should have fucking known because they're like, <laughs> oh look at these fucking. I, I, still, I still think the uh, yeah. the idea of making your own character like in a world where Spider Man exists as a pop culture icon. Yeah. Uh, even though he's not actually real, is uh, is a really interesting thing. Yeah, it's guess... like. When you make a fictional character real. Because, right. like, I guess... Like, every kid's dream is to be Spider-Man, right? But nobody ever... Same. Everyone always writes a story about how... The kid gets to be Spider-Man or whatever. And... It's like... 
I just kind of wanted to ground it more, you know, because I thought it would be cool, because then you can have sort of this foil that the main character... The foil is Peter Parker, right? And the main character has to be different from Peter Parker for it to be interesting. And at the end of the day, he always looks back to Peter Parker to see what he should be, right? And, yeah. of course, it also provides, like, a way to talk about Spider-Man stuff that's currently happening. Because, like, I have very much Spider-Man opinions, but I feel like it would be cool to talk about those opinions within a comic book that's kind of has, like, it has everything we have. Like, I feel like if I was just up and running on issues and, like, I wasn't worried about, like... Because in the first issue, my character complains about the voice for Miles Morales or whatever. And then in spite yeah, of us. He's no cool. in the in the in the video game, he's like, it doesn't sound like a seventeen year old. He's too fucking young. All this and that and whatever. And then he gets hit in the head. Oh. With it, right? Yeah. And then And I also feel like it's good because everybody on the ground who see them and is like, Oh, you're Spider Man, you're Peter Parker, you're Miles and whenever they fuck up, they're like, Oh, Spider Man wouldn't do that. What the fuck? What are you doing? Right? Yeah, it's a good it's a good way to give these characters great expectations to live up to. Yeah, and, um, uh, for mine, it's it's kind of, it's kind of hard to create Spider Man and not have him be right. like Peter Parker. Yeah, because like when when you think about it, you either go like with two roots to make it different from you. You either make it like you make yourself. Uh, kind of mean spirited. You kind of like you're kind of rude, like Ultimate mm. Peter Parker, and then Spider Man's kind of snappy, jokey, and nice to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can turn into this dark, brooding character that right. is that gives off the evil vibe despite doing good things. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 like uh, as far as I know, you, it feels like you can only go down those two routes. Yeah, I get. I feel like I hit Roblox a lot of the time, but yeah, here we are. We are running out of time. So I, I don't know if I'm going to make this a thing. I'm going to make this a thing, I guess, because I did it last time, and I've had it rattling around in my head. I already know the answer, mm -hmm. but since you've already said it, I'm just going to ask you to elaborate. What makes Andrew... Do you think Andrew is the best Spider-Man, or is he your favorite? Just yes or no. It, that's that's a kind of a, a whole like weird can of worms to open yeah, that's but shortening right. it down yeah he's the best in my opinion right what makes andrew he's and he's the best right what me. makes andrew your favorite oh no i think i can just relate to a lot of what he is um uh it, it's, it's hard to explain i yeah. i have the attitude i have that sort of attitude where it's like okay fuck you right <laughs> you know uh, it's yeah okay you, you uh you're you're being a bit unreasonable go fuck right. yourself it's like, like yeah if 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 a uh, you know when in the car thief part where the cop just points a gun at him and it's like who are you it's like yeah i did 80 percent of your job huh and that's how yeah. you pay me yeah, i feel like i'd do that i yeah, feel like i would do that you can see yourself um, in the character and therefore yeah know. and that's like what spider-man is you know you're supposed to relate to him so i guess yeah, I guess he. I guess that makes yeah. sense. And and from from his performance and stuff that he's said in interviews, you can tell that the guy cares, and oh, yeah, I no, really yeah. admire. Because I don't, I don't, I get similar vibe from Tom, but I don't get it as strong as I do from Andrew. And I could really admire an actor that really cares. And that's why like Andrew's one of my biggest inspirations. Period. Uh. So yeah. I feel like I'm gonna say this, but I'm gonna have to wrap it up. I feel like Andrew's yeah. sort of. I feel like Andrew cared the most out of the three actors, cause like he would. Oh yeah. This we'll could change there. because like t Toby doesn't fucking talk to anybody or do anything. He's locked in a basement at all times. You never hear from him. <laughs> I've never heard the guy and, like speak. Yeah. Outside of some views. And Tom's locked in a different basement, but like that's only because Marvel doesn't let him talk unless he's being paid. But yeah, Andrew's always yeah, like he has Benedict Cumberbatch yeah. or Jake Gyllenhaal with him at all yeah. times, just covering his mouth. Yeah. Andrew's always like, dude, I love this character, right? All this that I've been dressing as him, right? But yeah, that's all we have on time. Thank you all so much yeah. for watching the show. I still haven't figured out how to formally wrap it up or end it or do whatever I need. So 
the charm of it. Yeah. Just like not knowing how to do it. Just that's yeah. the charm. Uh, just who, having it every time. Yeah. Who would you like to see on the show next, Noah? Because I'm trying to figure out who I'd want to be on the show. Ooh. That's a hard question. I feel like. Um, yeah. I also have a lot of people who want to be on the show, and I'm trying to like create a queue in my head, so this will probably help. Like, this isn't too far fetched, but you should probably get Cabin Creations on here if you can get in contact with him. Because he does a lot of he does right. a lot of suit stuff. He does the moving lenses and stuff. Oh yeah, no. I'm just I'm just worried that like, I'm I'm tr I I don't know if I'm getting him confused with Shade. Shade. Uh, shade. Oh Shade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Cabin Creations and Shade are two different people. Okay. So yeah. I I mean I'm, I don't want to feel outclassed. You know his shit's good. You know I don't want to be. It is very very good. Yeah, but um no, thank you so much for coming on though. It's been a pleasure, man. It's actually been really fun. And if uh, if you if you need any guests or like you feel like you're walking around in circles and topics, you could always have me on the Spidey Squad cast, whatever you guys want. Oh hell yeah, we. Oh, I think we'd 100 percent willing yeah, to do that. You could have. Oh, an I did. I did. I did confess with them, but If you, if you're wondering about that thing, like when you asked before, right. I have talked to them about it. They would be willing to do it at some point. Awesome. But we can't right now because we can't edit videos. That's fair. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I do edit videos. It might take a while because my schedule is full, but if you guys need an editor, I could be consulted for that. But we're not going to talk business on film because I'm stretching this shit right. because I get distracted. <laughs> okay. Well, before we stretch things out, let's uh, yeah. discuss. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun editing this, but uh, I'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Goodbye. See you guys. Bye. 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 All right.